Jordan Tyranny, what a journey it has been. If they would have announced it a couple of years ago, so next two years, you're going to be Miss Rodeo America. Wow. Yes, absolutely. You know, um, I think just wow is kind of the way you encapsulate it all. Um, just from everything that happened, uh, you know, the pandemic, the two years. But all in all, it was a very fulfilled experience. And I don't feel like I was gypped in any way. If anything, I feel like I got more out of it. And one of the best parts that came out of it was the relationships that are going to come or that have come out of it. And that's really what it's all about. You know, um, I, I, we have the luxury of watching a lot of queens and, and doing the program. The fact, and, and you do see it. I mean, it starts to take its toll. It's not, it's not an easy job. It's not riding around smiling and just <laughs> having fun, eating nice meals. It is a hard job and a lot of work. Yes, there is a very involved um, job, and that's exactly what it is. It is a 365-day job that you have an eight-day interview for, and in 365 days, you know you're going to be fired and replaced. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in between there, you know, you have a lot of early morning, TV interviews, radio interviews, you go to school visits, you go to hospital visits, but what you're mainly focused on is promoting, you know, the sport and the Western way of life, and um, I feel like I, I did my best at that in these past two years, and it's been a great journey, um, but it was not easy. I mean, I definitely had hard times, you know, but the people in my corner are what helped me get through it. Um, Mom, Dad, if you're yeah. listening, love you. <laughs> exactly. And you come from great genes, tough people, the tyrannies, South Dakota. And they, <laughs> just South Dakota in general. <laughs> you said enough. You just live on the other side of Mount Rushmore. You've got to be tough to do that. Right? Exactly. exactly. Let, me, let me ask you, what happens next? What, what's, what are we going to see you do? I know it'll be big. Yeah, yeah. You know, nothing is official yet, um, but some really great opportunities have come out of this um, title. Honestly, some stuff just, just here recently. So I am very excited to watch those. Um, you know, fruits of your labor come to fruition. Absolutely. So it's been amazing. Um, I'm so excited to take the next step, but I will be pursuing my master's in business through okay. the University of South Dakota in the fall of 22 right now is my plan. Um, so I'm excited to use my scholarship. I get five years to use it. And I know that if I procrastinate, probably won't use it. <laughs> it's one of my yeah. weaknesses. They asked me in my job interview, <laughs> oh no. Um, but I'm excited to pursue that and just kind of, you know, live life and be a civilian again. One more question. Yes. Because to my knowledge, no Miss Rodeo America has done what you did, and that's carried the American flag at the oh. Wrangler National Final Rodeo. How was that experience? <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, pinch me! It's uh, it's it's like back when I got first crowned as Miss right. Rodeo America, and it took a moment to sink in because mm -hmm. it was so surreal. Um, that's never happened before. And I was so honored and I'm so grateful for the experience. And I just want to thank, you know, Las Vegas events, PRCA for giving me that opportunity. And it is a pleasure every single time I get to present the American yeah. flag in front of a rodeo crowd because there is no crowd and no sport more patriotic than the rodeo fans of the PRCA. Well, on behalf of everybody with the rodeo committees, the fans, the WPRA, PRCA, everybody at Wrangler and the course I got to say the Miss Rodeo America pageant. It has been an honor and a pleasure. You have served us well. We wish you the best and uh, long live Jordan. <laughs> Thank you.